I don't know what's happening. I'm freaking out. This is a fail. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making Disney's famous churros. Alright, so earlier this week Disney announced or they released their churro recipe because of everyone staying at home and all the parks being closed. So they decided to release it for everyone to do at home. So that's exactly what we're doing today. We, I tried to look it up and I didn't see any videos on it on YouTube. So we're making one right now. So here we go. So we have the recipe here. You're going to need one cup of water, eight tablespoons of butter, so a stick of butter. A stick of unsalted butter. And then one fourth a teaspoon of salt. We got salt right here. I didn't know if there was a difference between regular salt and iodized salt. So I got iodized salt. I hope there's not, yeah, I hope there's not a big difference, but. <laughs> I feel like there is, but. Um, then we need three fourths a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. This is the cinnamon. One and one fourth cups of all purpose flour. Three eggs. Three eggs. One and a half, one and one half cups vegetable or canola oil. Vegetable oil. And then half a cup of sugar. Sugar. That's everything we need right there. And then your pans. Obviously. And your pans. Obviously. I'm using. One for the dough. One and for the dough. One later for when you fry up the dough batter. Yeah. The batter. What she said. And it says to put it on medium heat. Medium heat. All right. So here I'm adding one cup of water. So while, so while the water's boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up this uh, this butter so it just like melts a little easier. We have Samara's Disney ears on. Shout out to Sid and V for getting them for her. They're so cute, and they're from Disney. From Disney, Disney. You don't think it's too dark in here? I don't know. Do I think it's too dark? No, that messes it up. Let me see, let me see. Sure. Mm. All right, I think that's a little better. Okay, so we have all the butter chopped up right here. The water is boiling. All right, so now I'm just gonna add the butter, one fourth tablespoon of salt. Come on, get it, go. Come on. Bro. Gonna add the salt also. Put that butter in there. And then also, also one fourth tablespoon of ground cinnamon. So we're gonna add that. Okay. Um. Uh. What do I? I don't, what do I use to mix it? Do I use this. Yeah. All right. Now we're just gonna be mixing that. What else, what else, what else, what else do we need? You did the cup, the butter, the salt, and the cinnamon, right? Yeah. Oh, the butter's still melting. That doesn't look like churros. We need flour though, right? Yes, eventually. Bring. You have to bring it to a boil. Oh. Yeah. It's not boiling yet though. Yeah, you have to bring it to a boil. All right, so while we're waiting for that to boil, we are going to wait for that to boil. Oh, oh, it's starting to boil. It's starting to boil, guys. All right, so now we're gonna be adding one, one, one and one fourth cup of all-purpose flour. And we just mix that until it forms a ball, a dough ball. Stir vigorously. All right. Once the mix forms a ball, uh huh. Oh. Um, you can remove it from the heat, and you have to let it rest for five to seven minutes. I think that looks like a ball to me. We have it form in a ball. Okay, so now it is off the heat, and we set a timer. We'll stopwatch, and. We just take it off at five minutes. 
well, five to seven minutes. We let it rest and then we continue with the instructions. Yes. So we need to start heating our oil. Oh. Um, I did not think about this part. I told you you have to have two pans ready for two pots. The other big silver pot. Where? I don't know. I thought you had another big silver pot. Can we use this? Oh, no, that looks nasty. That's too small. It doesn't need to be big, big. No. Well, then you need, to, you need to wash that. Oh. It was only supposed to rest for five to seven minutes. Um. Hold on. But look how cute Samar is. There's a little gnat around it. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and switch over the dough into this little white bowl. So we have it in a separate bowl and we're just gonna set that to the side and let it sit. The pot is clean and we're gonna move on to making the oil. Making heating up the oil. Heating, heating up the oil. So what do we're we do? gonna Start the heat. Start the heat all the way high? Yeah, because it's going to boil. Okay. And then you're going to put one and one and one half. Does that make sense? You know yeah, what I'm trying to say? One and a half. Yeah, one and then one half. One and a half. I don't know how to say it. All right. So one and a half cups I just, of yes. vegetable oil? Yes, I just know how to read it. I don't know how to say that. Okay, so the dough's been resting five minutes. All right, and we got one and a half cup of vegetable oil. We just add it? Yep. Hey, Jenny, chill. All right, so you might want to back up with Samara for yeah. these next steps. So we're going to add the eggs. You need to add the eggs. Oh, okay. One at a time. So while that's sizzling, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna be adding the eggs to this. So one, one at a time, we add each individual egg. Oh snap. And then we just mix that through. All right, after that first egg is fully mixed, go ahead and add the second egg. All right. I don't know what's happening. I'm freaking out. I don't know what's going on. Uh, something's going on. I don't know what's happening. I'm freaking out. Why is it moving like that? I'm not gonna get cold. Alright, um, back up. Did an earthquake just happen? I don't know what just happened, guys. It's starting again. Take it off, take it off. Turn it off. So, we just got informed that the pan that we were using is not actually a pot. No, so the pot that we were using is not actually a pot. Turns out, it's like a lid for other pots. So, we've been using a lid this entire time. So, we went ahead and we found this right here. So, hopefully that works a little better. We're just going to get right straight back to it. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and add our third egg. And we're gonna mix that up. And once again, mix until it's fully mixed in there. So next what we're going to do is we have a piping bag and we're going to put the dough into the piping bag. 
So we just noticed that the max line was right here. Nah. And we filled it up almost twice as much. We you This is a fail. No, it's it not. just has a lot of bloopers. It's not a big deal, right? Practice squeezing it. Hey, okay, so now we're just gonna practice squeezing it real quick. Wow. Or where are the scissors? Okay. Oh, no, they're over there. It's over here. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna practice real quick. What you do is you just squeeze and straight. cut. Yeah, straight. Don't angle it. That was awesome. Cool. That was cool. And cut. Awesome. Oh, we're gonna do it a lot longer than that, but yeah. So once once the oil finishes boiling, we're gonna get right to it. All right, so now we're just gonna squeeze with one hand and cut with the other hand. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, so uh this supposed to be golden brown. Get a plate, get a plate. Nicholas! I think this is not brown. Did it too long. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I told you, you need a plane. Oh, it's burning through the star foam. I know, that's what I told you. Oh no. So that did not go good. Yeah, that's a little burnt. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower down the heat. Uh, that was a big fail. We're gonna lower down the heat and we're gonna find a different scooper because this scooper kind of boiled up. All right, take two. So we're gonna lower down the heat even more. All right, so we lowered it down a lot more. All right, so so we found the right temperature, and we're just gonna keep repeating this process for until the batter runs out. We'll see how right after we do that. All right, so while we're cooking the other ones, Sarah, explain what you're doing. I'm patting them dry. Sorry, I'm not gonna talk too loud, but I'm patting them dry with a paper towel. And then in this bowl, I put um, like a cup of sugar and one third of a tablespoon of cinnamon, and I mixed it and I made that. Wow. So she just pat them dry. Just gonna pat them the dry. And then just wow. coat it like that. Nice. And then, we're, we're not going to try them until we're all done. Until we're all done. Also making a chocolate dip. All right, guys. So we are all done. Here is the finished product right here. 
Look at them. Here they are. Here's one of them. All right. Beautiful. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and taste test these for y'all. Ready? Mm. They're good. Those are good. Those are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was fun. Kind of and scary, it was very fun. fun. Yeah, we had a lot of fails. Well, I had a lot of fails. Yeah, so with that I said. I literally you can see. Oh, get in. No, I'm too short, you have too high. Well, with that said, hope y'all enjoyed this video. And we will see y'all in the next one. Mm.